find out. Here they go for the title. Tim, you said right away, watch for pace. What kind of pace? This, you know, for Valdez, he needs to start. He either can do two things. He can start off early by using his legs and athleticism to frustrate. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's there that it is. lunging left hand from far away. Signature punch from Naparete. Now on the inside, Valdez with a short right hand. And it right hand to the body from Valdez. Oh. Both men opening up. Valdez comes back with a left hand, goes with that left uppercut from mid-range this time. Oh, Two punch he heard him with that. He heard him with He's got Valdez hurt. Navarrete hurt Valdez here. Half a minute to go in. Getting caught out of position. You see him squat down right there in the right hand from Navarrete. Not only does he have a left hook, he has a right hand and an uppercut as well. But good shot. Navarrete just lets his hands fly. And when your opponent gets out of position, he follows up with his offense. He's dangerous with his assaults, especially getting his fighters out of position. If you throw a... Told you. Forget, feel them out. It's get right to it and commit to the cause. Wow, with right hands to the body. But again... There's that left uppercut from far range again that gets him in. Forcing him out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A three punch combination from Navarrete. Most of that was blocked by Valdez. Remember, in terms of combination, protection here at the end of round Ten number seconds. two. Right hand one two from Navarrete. Tries to push it back with a jab. We got a good Ooh. one. Oh, good left hand from Valdez. And Navarrete fires back with an uppercut. Five to 18 connect advantage. Came off the pace just a little bit in punches thrown in round number two. Valdez was eight of 41 in that last round. He's landing occasionally, but Valdez is being sneaky. Sneaking short right hand on the inside, and then a short left uppercut. And now he lunges at Valdez. It's so awkward and so unpredictable because you don't expect them from this space. There's another driving overhand right hand. And now they tie up on the inside. Here's Navarrete on the inside. Views, nice little short shot, but wow. Look how he changed angles right there. and still had the ability to be able to land and see this shot on the inside. Short right hand, there he is, steps back, switches stances, and shoots from the southpaw stance. Double uppercut from Navarrete. One. In the left hook, he needs to put a little bit more to his arsenal. Navarrete has figured that out already. He's smarter than a lot of people give him credit for. He's a lot smarter. Opponents with that move. There he ducks underneath with the left hand to the body in the middle of the exchange. And how he did that was he threw the uppercut to bring the elbows inside so that way he can reach around. When he benefited from a long count, there's a right uppercut now. He spit out his mouthpiece against Liam Wilson, and for 27 seconds he was allowed to recover in a veteran move. To throw the left hook for Valdez. There's the uppercut right hand combination. Ooh. A frequent combination from Navarrete. There it is again. That time. Valdez throw is hard. That's you right. can see it coming. It's loaded. He loads up on his shots. As he did there with the left hand against the wiry, unpredictable Navarrete. End of four. Over his head. Getting out of range from that attack as well. Utilizing his footwork and now a little upper body movement. And then setting up a counter from Valdez. And here's his follow up attack. Just missed with the right hand. Left uppercut comes back into the face. Comes with a right uppercut. Creates more space. One, two from Navarrete. Dez. There's the left uppercut from Navarrete. Good shot from Navarrete. He's being clever. That's what he's being. Sneaky. Clever. Good shot to the body. That left hook to the body is. Worked out of there. Now he worked is. out of there. Multi-punch combination again from Navarrete. Pulls out with a left ten hook. Seconds, seconds. Valdez tries to left hook Ooh. off the mark. Right Ooh. hand comes back from Navarrete Ooh. with a left uppercut as well. And they fight through the bell. Seven. Oh, nice shot right there. Nice setup. Double uppercut. Then. Oh, there it is. You reach, I teach. Good shot coming into a tactical fight for Valdez. Left Good hand shot. Was able to score there. 
tactical and slower pace yep. would favor Oscar Valdez. Absolutely. Controlling the pace. So, and I said, what did you ask him to come out and do? He's got to pressure. He's got to dig to the body. He does that. And he does. And it's a moment for Valdez. There's an overhand right as Navarrete fires back with an up jab. And back to the center of this ninth round. And now the circumstances with Navarrete. So limited with doesn't do it at the right distance. That uppercut could get in on him. Navarrete willing to throw combinations here to open up round 10, but not fully throttling that right hand. No, he just wants to fuck. If he doesn't pay attention, if he doesn't be disciplined with that right hand, that left hook is going to come real soon. Opening moments of this 10th round is a Navarrete round as the right eye is worsening for Valdez. Back and forth things of drama. Valdez is looking, he's looking to just warm him up for that shot. He's looking. There, there it is. is. Right there hand is. over the top. That right eye is significantly there worse. It is again. Navarrete willing to get himself out of that corner. Minute to go here in round number 10. Valdez trying to come up and over with that left hook. Back out to range. One, two from Navarrete. Doubles up the left hand. That's his sole. Come on, Come now. on, baby. Give it to him. Everything it's all about. Everything is. Oh. There's the left hand coming from range. Off balance from Navarrete, his signature punch. Another left. They hear the clap. Short left uppercut on the inside. Big round for Navarrete. Oh. They're going to have three minutes to decide it. Oh my A goodness. thriller in the desert. Look at that eye. The old Mexican. 127 edge for Navarrete. Oh, good shot. Both men landing there. It was a right hand from Navarrete and return fire right hand from Valdez. Does. He just brings more and more and more. Right hand from Valdez tried to sneak in. Navarrete seemingly unaffected, slipped on the signage, the wet signage in the ringside. Julio Cesar Chavez, Barrera, Morales. And it's fitting to perform like this in front of those eyes. Here comes. Wide sweeping right hand, four punch combination from Navarrete. Ooh. Awkward left hand sends Valdez back. And now on the attack, headshots from Navarrete. There's the traditional left uppercut that he puts forth again. And that right eye is in bad, bad shape. Left hand from Valdez. Well, early on, Navarrete got off to an early start. You know, usually he starts off slow, but he came out. He had intentions on laying leather on Oscar Valdez. You know, catch him with shots like that from odd angles. That's the tricky part of Navarrete. You can't train for his awkwardness. You can't train for his elusive hard punches or his movement, you know, and timing. But Oscar Valdez, I would say, came on midway. He started finding his mark. He started changing his game plan up, going down to the body of Navarrete, really focusing and keying in on it onto his body to be able to set some kill shots up top. But again, Navarrete finishing strong, although he had a hurt hand. Finney found a way within him to summon the strength to finish strong on the back end of this fight. And I believe he got this victory tonight. But a fantastic show of heart, will, and determination by both men tonight. And how champions finish a fight often tells you all you need to know. How Navarrete finished that 12th round as you look at his dynamic output on CompuBox and a heck of an effort from Valdez. He landed 34 punches, all power punches in the 12th round. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside Desert Diamond Arena, after 12 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Zachary Young scores the bout 116-112. Chris Wilson scores it 118-110. And Lisa Giampa scores it 119-109. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBO Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Emmanuel Vaquero Navarrete! Emmanuel Navarrete, a 
unanimous decision winner to retain his world championship in an absolute classic where the scores were perhaps a little spread wider than you would think.